Well, g'day, Curd Nerds. Today, a big announcement. Um, I have finally just put the finishing touches on my beginner's cheese making course, and it's called the Curd Nerd Academy um, for Beginners. So, it's part of the Little, work little Green Workshops um, brand slash business, and uh, Kim and I are going to be making many more courses, besides this cheese one, of course. Uh, but the cheese one is the first one. So the great thing is there are eight modules. So the Curd Nerd Academy course was built for aspiring Curd Nerds and to make it a lot easier to understand the steps necessary to become a, uh, a cheesemaker at home. So the good thing about the course is that it, being online you can work at your own pace. There are step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, we have sections on equipment, ingredients, uh, essential skills, and then we go into making nine different cheeses on the courses, from soft cheeses to pasta filata, and then finally some cooked curd cheeses. However, you do learn about all the different types of cheeses and the basic um, elements of a cheese making throughout the course as well. Obviously, I highly recommend it because I made it. <laughs> so um, if you are struggling to understand how cheese making works and you would like to get a head start on everybody else, then pop over to my Cheese Making Academy or Curd Nerd Academy uh, over at courses.littlegreenworkshops.com.au. Uh, I will put the link to the course in the description below. So go and check that out. I think it's fairly priced uh, and you'll get a lot of benefit out of it. There are also some bonus items, including a full copy of my uh, ebook, Keep Calm and Make Cheese, The Beginner's Guide to Cheese Making at Home, and a discount coupon for uh, anything that you want to buy in the store at uh, Little Green Workshops. Anyway, thanks for watching, Curd Nerds. I hope you pop over and have a, a look anyway uh, at the curriculum for the, uh, the course, the Curd Nerd Academy Beginners course. All right, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.